Got your head in that by accident. That's right, I'll cut it off. Can you get me a bit of wood or something, Ash, stick under there from the shed? You're better at filming than me. <laughs> Got your head again. Hi guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. The bottom end of the engine is finally in the Fiesta, but not bolted up as you can see. But she's in. This is the Fiesta we got, ST. As you can see, we just took everything out of the front, just because it was nice and easy. And at the back there is the Eco Sport that we've just finished. So there'll be a video on that, so be prepared for that. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look inside guys and girls as you can see the interior is pretty sound there's not much we've got to do here cams and lifters waiting to go in but as you can see it's very nice in here so not much to do with this car inside but we will be upgrading things Stuff like dashboard, stuff like that, we'll be upgrading. But yeah, so we'll keep you along for the ride, guys and girls. So if you can't hear me properly, I haven't got one of them mics yet. But yeah, again, like I always say, it takes money. But we'll keep you going through this, guys and girls. So, hope you like the vids. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you soon. Can't see it, Captain. Can you see the boat, lad?
and voila one clutch one flywheel in the engine ready to be turned around and put onto the gearbox so once that's done i'll bring you back guys and girls i'm remembering <laughs> see you soon Guys and girls, that's the engine in, as you can see. Woohoo! We're getting there, guys and girls. Engine's in. All buttoned up. Stick a few more bolts down there. Underneath, obviously, we can't get to at the moment, so we're not going to bother with that. But it's got most of the bolts in for the gearbox and the engine, so it's not going to go anywhere. We've also got wood underneath, so it's nice and safe. But we're just working with what we've got guys and girls but as you can see, see we're going to be doing the timing chain next timing chain water pump head let me scrap that it'll be head timing chain water pump but again that's my method no one else's this is not a tutorial video this is just sheer entertainment like and subscribe, all that good stuff, thumbs up, see you soon. Just a little background about this car, guys and girls. This car is off of a good friend of ours. Um, he didn't need it anymore because he got a new car, like most people do. Uh, so it sat on his driveway, I say for maybe three or four years. So it didn't move, it didn't run, didn't do anything. Um, when I get a car like this, this is what I like to do. Uh, I like to strip it all down. Make sure all the seals are good, make sure the pistons are good, vice versa. And you go down the list and you just make sure everything's good and sealed, it'll hold all the fluids and all that good stuff. So, like I've said before in most of my videos, this is not a how-to video in any way, shape or form. This is just me taking you along for the ride. Um, so, yeah. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up and uh i'll keep it going for you all right see you soon bye i thought we'd film this bit because it's like pulling a grenade it's really good just gotta wait 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 for it guys and girls can you see the pin i can see the pin Wait for him to do that nice and tight and snug. And we're going to pull the pin in three, two, one. Pull that pin. There we go. As you can see, guys and girls, new sprockets are on. Timing chain, as I said, new runners. And the pin he just pulled out, which was this guy here, and that's the oil tensioner. It's spring loaded as well, but it's fed by oil to keep the tension on the spring, on the chain. So, all that good stuff, guys and girls. See you soon. Right, there we go, guys and girls, and all you lovely people on the interweb. It's all back in. Front cover's on. I'm sure we sorry I didn't show most of it. It's really hard to be videoing, doing, and in the weather. I mean, I am outside my house doing this on the grass, as you can see. But yeah, we ain't got much left to do. Obviously, all the intake, outlet, uh, exhaust pipe's got to go on. Uh, sparkulators. I'll put some sparkulators in her. 
we'll get some nice new ones but as you can see it's starting to rain so me and the boys we, we've had we've had enough for today i think we've done quite well but as you can see it's all nicely done next will be wiring loom and turning it over without no spark plugs in there or anything else so we can get oil pressure back up on the car before it first starts up because that's something else you don't want to do is start her up with no oil run around the system you grind metal on metal and it's just not good so that's it for now um, I will be doing some more on the EcoBoost um, the lights need doing the grill needs doing and it just needs generally buffing up but that's it for that car now once that's finished and done I will take you through it and show you what we got and what we went through and what we done um, I have got a few videos out on it but not a lot um, like I said I've only just started this channel so um, yeah so like subscribe thumbs up leave comments emails anything you like and uh speak to you soon bye bye guys and girls